All right, Guardians, we are back with a new quest. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in, go to Spider, talk to him for a second, and he's going to have a new quest for you. This one is As the Crow Flies. Spider felt a presence in his lair, an ephemeral thing that was perhaps nothing more than a waking dream. But not all dreams are so ethereal. Search outside Spider's lair. So I, what you want to do is kind of, as you exit, just run out of his lair. And you don't want to go too far. I went roaming a little too far and just walk past it, so... I wanted to at least show you guys where this one was, and we're going to go through this quest step by step. So come out here, and this gold feather is actually sitting right outside. A few people are here. Obviously, it seems to be a popular place, so we're going to go ahead and collect it. The Paracausal Feather. Once you've got that, find the second feather. All right, Guardians, the next step of the quest is going to tell you, say, I'm soaring over the trees, storm clouds at my back. There's buildings crumbling into rust and ruin. I headed to the EDZ. I stopped briefly at a vantage point overlooking something, a grove perhaps. It's hard to remember. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to head to the sludge, and it's the hallowed grove lost sector, and there's actually a little rusted building up here, and we're going to go jump up in it. And feather number two is right up here. So let me show you guys where it's at. Be great if I could just, you know, run forward. And it's literally right up in here. So here is feather number two. All right, so the third feather. I'm somewhere. I know that's not helpful. It's a ruin on Earth, I think. I'm flying and there's these towers and chips. I land on a broken concrete pillar, and I see myself, but it's not me. I don't think it ever was. I'm saying words I've never said, and the Guardian is there. Yes, that one. So pretty much what you need to do is you're going to load into the Cosmodrome right here in the steps, and you're almost at it right now. So the concrete pillar is quite literally this one that you land next to. Jump up here on top, and it's right there. All right, so we are in feather number four. No, not Earth this time. It was home. It was those gates. I had, I don't know, a sense of dread. Vertigo set in, and I plummeted from the sky like I lost control of my wings. My heart hurt, ached, and I felt so much guilt and shame. Regret? No, I don't remember anything else. So this actually does sound like it's coming from the crow. But what you need to do is go to the Dreaming City. You're going to land at, obviously, the Davillion Mists. And we're going to drive straight forward. Big gates are the entrance to the raid and the blind well and all that fun stuff. And it's not even inside the blind well. It's actually tucked right outside of it in one of the two little nooks. Uh oh Drive right up here. You'll usually have some ads, but there's probably some people around cleaning stuff out if I don't die on the way. But once you get here, just literally turn left and you'll find feather number four right here. So find the final feather. Yes, again, it was like coming full circle. Flying through those claustrophobic corridors, I get to hear the horrible howling in the distance, in the dark. It was just like when we were there, except I was alone, no one to save. I know, Glint? I know. So oh, definitely coming from the crow now. Where we're going is the moon, and this one we are going to head over into Archer's Line and then Subterranean after that. So once you land, jump on your sparrow. There may be a few people going the same direction as you, because we're likely all doing the same stuff. Easiest path I can take is to kind of hang on the left-hand side, and you'll kind of cut over afterwards. As you change instances, you'll lose some of the people you're traveling with. But hang over here to the left, cross the bridge, up the small hill, to the right. I actually got my sparrow in here. There's no way I'm actually going to manage to do this again, I'm sure. Oh, nope, almost. But go in this door and work our way down. We're going all the way down into the Shrine of Oryx, so it is a bit of a hike down here. Falling down, catch your fall. Once you get into the Hall of Wisdom, what you're trying to do, I'm not going to kill the guys. If you feel like you need to, that's fine, but you can usually skip them pretty easily. A couple of wizards this time for me. And once you get past that first entrance, go left. Should be headed towards this room. does look like we've got a... Uh, Season of the Hunt, Cryptolith, Wrathborn Hunt situation there. Go past it, down these corridors, which we've down, been down many times in the world of Destiny. All these wonderful tubes, they got nightmares in the hallways now. 
Keep running, keep running, keep running. Once you reach the Shrine of Oryx, we're going all the way to the back. So, again, you're going to have some ads. You can probably skip most of them. Easy way to do that, just take the upper side. Because anything down in the middle, you know, should have at least some obstructions to try and shoot you. And you can just kind of cross through the middle, get to the far end. And in the final room, I probably will kill a couple in excuse me, a couple enemies. Just to clear the path a little bit. Gonna kill him quick though, so not wasting any time here. Gonna have a knight waiting up here. You're also gonna have a barrier knight that popped out at me at one point. Where'd he go? He may come out of the middle. Yep, there he is. Oh, come on. If you hit him hard and fast with something, it'll go quick. That's why Xenophage works for me. There we go. Don't worry about him. So if you're facing this big structure square on in the room, head to the left-hand side. And you'll see it down here on the ground. Number five. All right, so this wraps part one of the quest. This is just the feathers. There are some missions and rebuilding of the weapon that will come later. I'll do that in part two, so stay tuned for that guide. But I know this is kind of a first ask that a lot of people will have. So I will get this one out for you guys right now and then look for part two. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't so you don't miss part two. We'll be coming very soon this afternoon. And then you guys can also find me on Twitch and Twitter as Ebontis on both. Thank you guys as always. Have fun. See you in part two.